We're proposing a plan for the nation that rewards work, not just rewards wealth. The American Jobs Plan will lead to a transformational progress in our effort to tackle climate change with American jobs and American ingenuity. That was President Biden in Pittsburgh yesterday promising to create jobs and fight climate change with a sweeping $2 trillion infrastructure plan. But with lots of money set aside for progressive pet projects, will Biden hold up his campaign promise to stand with the working class? Laid off West Virginia coal miner Bo Copley is here to react. Bo, thank you for joining us again. What is your reaction to what President Biden has rolled out? Uh, thanks for having me on this morning, Griff. Uh, yeah, he says he's wanting to to help the American workers, but you're talking to someone who's in a state full of American workers, and you're talking about going zero uh, carbon emissions by 2035. Uh, how many of those jobs are set aside for West Virginia? Bo, I, I want to take us back for our viewers who may have forgotten that in 2016, you challenged then candidate for president Hillary Clinton when she said she was going to put coal miners out of work. Watch. When you make comments like we're going to put a lot of coal miners out of jobs, these are the kind of people that you're affecting. This is this is my family. How you can say you're going to put a lot of coal miners out of out of jobs and then come in here and tell us how you're going to be our friend. Now, you challenged Clinton at that point, but this plan that President Biden rolled out yesterday has in it a creation of a national standard that requires the electrical grid of this country to move to a certain amount of solar, wind, and renewable energy with a timeline of increasing it to the point where there is essentially no fossil fuels at the end. Are you concerned about that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the, the heart of the state that I live in is, is a fossil fuel. It's, it's the coal industry. And, you know, coal is uh, still a pretty reliable source when it comes to the energy grid that we have. And uh, the, the, the wind and the solar that we're, we're trying to use as a, and, and utilize as a, as a country is, has not proven to be sturdy without it. So uh, I guess a lot of that money is going to go to try and bolster those programs while he shuts down the programs that we have here. And that, that's my main concern more than anything is, is what's going to happen to the people who live here. Are, are we going to put wind and solar farms here in West Virginia that, that we can replace all those coal jobs? You know, Bo, another part of this American Jobs Plan is it's going to raise the corporate tax rate from 21 percent to 28 percent. How do you feel about that? Well, when the previous administration, the Trump administration, lowered that tax from 35 to 21, we saw an increase and a rise in, in different types of jobs in those industries, uh, like the automotive industry. And I, I'm afraid that, that raising it back up to 28% is going to do the exact opposite. It's going to kill certain jobs. And, and I think you're going to see a lot of people like Ford uh, just follow suit and, and move a lot of these jobs to Mexico. Speaking of those jobs, are you seeing in West Virginia, amongst your friends and colleagues that are struggling with this, are you seeing these green jobs? Are you hearing anything from this administration that would give you some optimism? Uh, not personally, no. Uh, you know, it, it's it's sad. I, I, I talked to a friend last night who, who left his job in the coal industry. He, he said, you know, things had taken another downturn. And it's, it's always up and down depending on what type of administration there is. And, and when you have an administration who says we're going we're gonna to eliminate those jobs, just like Secretary Clinton had, had vowed in, in 2016 or 2018, then, uh, you, you know, it, it hurts and you start to look for other opportunities outside of that, that area, hopefully something that can grow. And, and honestly, we're just not seeing that around here. Bo Copley, thank you for taking time this morning. A voice of the working class in West Virginia. Uh, stay tuned. Keep us posted on what you're seeing on the ground there. Thanks, Bo. Thank you. I appreciate it, Chris.